<laughs> now to our team coverage on the rain brought by Tropical Storm Colin. The system became non-tropical this afternoon. But while the storm was here, it did drop a lot of rain to our south, causing some flooding. The news Lex Gray spoke to drivers along NC-12. Yeah, guys, what a difference an afternoon makes. I'm here in Dare County at midday. My photographer Rob Rizzo and I have been driving since about 6 o'clock this morning. You can see the condition of the roads here in Rodanthe. So we started out in Portsmouth around 6 o'clock, made our way all the way south to Hatteras Island. That's where actually the county decided to close their offices as well as, as, well as schools because of just being cautious about this tropical storm. We actually didn't see very much flooding there, but as we headed back north, this is really the worst of it that we're seeing here. This is why NCDOT has been cautioning drivers to go slowly. We talked to one of them about what it's been like to get through this. It's real slow going, and um, you know, if you got a little car, I wouldn't recommend getting out there in some spots. Uh, this truck is not super big, but it's a little sketchy out there in this thing at times, too. So uh, just be careful. Don't get stuck. <laughs> Fortunately, as we've been driving around for hours this morning, we only saw one stranded driver, and it looked like he made his way out of that spot easily. And fortunately, we've also got some sunny days ahead, which can hopefully help dry all of this out. In Dare County, I'm Lex Gray, 10 on your side. Colin may, may, may be out to sea, but we are in hurricane season. Stay informed on the latest weather conditions by downloading our Wavy Weather app today.